Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install the death messages for DAISY 1.8.2. Um, should be the same on most any other mod. Uh, what we were talking about was a uh, post started by Lieutenant General Nick. Kill messages 1.8.2. And uh, I worked on it a little bit, and we have something a little bit different. This is what it looks like here. Instead of just having a text, it comes up with a little box, and it has your message right here. Uh, Delphi has uh, proven this working. I'm not going to um, test it. I'm just going to show you follow the instructions and show you how to install it. I think the installations is down here to post number 16. There it is, if you see that, post 16. And let's start at the top here. I'm going to uh, read right along with you. And <coughs> we'll uh, make sure this is working here. So let's see, I'm going to say this is working. I uh, did not test with real players. Delphi did test and says it's working. And he's made some uh, improvements to it. Okay, here's the files you need. Click on this. Downloads. I've already downloaded it once. Okay, there are two HPP files included. They are, when I unzip death messages folder, here they are. DM underscore display HPP and DM underscore display RSC title HPP. The difference is that in your description.ext um, you will use one or the other. We will include this. So let's open up our description.ext. Here's my virgin server 182 and MP missions, churners, description.ext. This is the virgin one. Let's see, do I have RSC titles in here? There it is, class RSC titles. You can see the watermark. If you have a watermark displayed on your screen, then you definitely have RSC titles. Um, and in that case, what are we told to do? It says, if you do have class RSC titles, and you definitely do if you have a watermark, which is the little, you know, IR or whatever your four letters or six letters for your server is, is going to be on the lower left. And right below the class RSC titles line, add this. So we're going to add this. Copy. <coughs> there we go. Now, if you do not have class RSC titles, so if I had, did not have that, then at the top of the description.ext, I would add this. So if I did not have RSC titles in here, then I would just put this at the top. So you're going to do one or the other, not both. Okay, so now next, Daisy server init server functions. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to add this um, line into the server functions. And it doesn't really matter where you put it. We're going to put it where the rest of the call compile whatever it's are. Hive, add-ons, daisy, server, init, server functions. See all these things right here? These are functions that are going to be called. And we'll just add ours right to the end of that. Now the function player hit is going to be called. It's going to use this file right here. And I forgot to add that file. So we have to download that file too, which I have already done also. Downloads death message and unzipped it. And right here I'm going to copy. And I'm going to place it. Daisy server in the compile along with the rest of the functions based.
See, so that's right date in the DayZ server compile function player hit. We pasted that file <coughs> that we downloaded right here in the DayZ server PBL. Okay, now player setup right below. We're going to um, add this. And this is telling us that it's going to add an event handler that every time you are hit by a bullet, it's going to call function player hit, which is this file right here. So it's compiles player setup. Compiles, daisy server compiles, server player setup. And we were putting it where? Right after setup and it failed, exiting player object null which is right here. So right outside that code block, there we go. So that means that we definitely have a player object and uh, now that the player object, which is you, the client, will now call uh, function player hit every time you're shot. Okay, server player died. Right up, right below, player name equals name new object. We're going to add all of this. Oops. Copy. Compile server player died. Right below. Right below, let's see. Okay, right below, player name, name, new object. Where the hell is that? So I'm going to press Control F and I'm going to player name equals name, new object. Let's see, player name, name, new object. Yeah, let's see. Did I have the right files? Compile server player died. New object. Well, I'm going to say that this file has changed somewhat. Server player died. Player, let's see. So let's put that. Let's see, what is this doing? This is just a bunch of code. Oh, yeah, here it is, right here. So, <coughs> that was odd. I wonder why that didn't show up when I typed new object. Let's try that again and see if it shows up. New object. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Why? space. Yeah, it must have two spaces. I don't know. Control F doesn't work all the time, I guess. But there it is. Right at the top. And I just paste that. Okay, now we're going to our mission file, init.sqf, and we're going to add this to the bottom. Init SQF to the bottom, paste. Now what this is doing, this is adding a public variable event handler, death message. So uh, whenever, you know, this is with the data that actually comes to the client. <coughs> whenever somebody dies, it's going to put all the info into this um, variable, or this variable right here, and then it's going to display it 
control set text death message. So this is the part, the code right here that actually displays the death message. <coughs> now let's see. Okay, this next part, description.ext. I've already done this up above. Um, this is just a little more uh, detailed. One thing to pay attention to here is uh, where you put the you're going to copy one of the other. You can copy them both if you want, both the files. Um, I don't know if I made that clear before. But in the uh, death messages, whichever file you put in your description.ext, you need to copy that file to your mission. So, or both of them, whichever, you know. Let's see, I use this one right here. So I copy that one and mission, and I'm going to paste it right here. And uh, you know that's that's so that the um, it, it can find it. Now, <coughs> in here I made a little boo boo, I guess. Ignore that. Windows is activated. I'm not a pirate. Um, I put right here scripts because I put all my stuff in the scripts subfolder, but here I did not put that. So. Um, Yeah. <coughs> so um, yeah. So right after there, that's 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 right. So right after the RSC titles, uh, before the class, you put that right here. Um, now, but I wrote scripts, and then down here I did not put scripts. So it depends where you put it. This is would be if it's in the root of your folder. This would be if you put it into a uh, a subfolder called scripts. So you know, just make sure that the path is correct. And uh, that's it. Should work. Um, again, I said Delphi has tested it all. Says it works. I tested it working um, before. I don't have a uh, server or any friends right now to actually test it. So, uh, and one other thing here was if you want to, if you saw there, I had some of them are black and some of them are uh, orange. You can set the text and the background. If you go to this website right here, Killzone Kid, Hex 2 Armor GUI Color Converter, uh, just go to Killzone Kid and you can search them all. He's got a lot of tutorials and little, I think this is under the tools. Um, but you'd put in your hex color that you that you want for your text, hex color that you want for your background, and um, you can apply it and the you know it'll give you the um, what it looks like. So you can kind of you know change the colors and finally come up with something that looks decent. So um, that's that. Anything else that you need to change will be changed in the um, HPP file in this file right here. This is where all the background colors are changed. So whenever you want to make an edit whatever HPP file right here's the font the uh, color um, background color you know whatever whatever you want <coughs>